What's up, y'all? It's your boy from Runner Head. Now I'm back at it again. We got something new, y'all. This right here is a, uh, a Creo cleaner. This is a, a AQ058 multifunctional vacuum grabber cleaner, man. I got this for my snapping turtles, man, because they water is getting a little funky. And we gotta get that together. And this right here, I think it's gonna do the job, y'all. So let's open this thing up and let me let y'all see how everything look. I'll tell y'all a little something about this thing. All right, let's see. Let's put this right there. We got the uh, user's menu. Check that out. But we got a uh, hose to drain the water with right here. Uh, we got the uh, non slip handle right here. It got like gripper things all on it. So when you in that water, you ain't gonna slip out your hand. Uh, we got in this bag. We got a uh, we got a few different heads. That go in the uh, vacuum and these right here. I know what these is. These are like the whole decor and everything. I'm gonna show you how to put everything together. But the main thing I got these for is uh, I'm gonna use the uh, sand hoses. Basically, all the sand hoses because we got sand in the turk with the turtles. We got a little bit of bare glass too. But this is the main reason I wanted this, and it's the size of it, how small and everything. This is the sand vac right here. This is the one I'm gonna put on. I'll let y'all see. All right, y'all, and this right here, this is the filter housing. This is where you put the uh, sponges and everything. Uh, they got one sponge in there already, and it's uh, two more right here. So let's put these two sponges in there. Just like it uh, collect a lot of dirt. So I'm going to put them in now. Oh, let me make sure they're straight. There you go. All right, uh, and this is the uh, water flow right here. Like this thing, you turn it left and right. And that's how you control the water flow. And this is the uh, water pump right here. But let's take everything else out. And we go pick this thing together. This, oops. This is the tools to make it uh, longer and shorter. I'm gonna try longer first, and then I'm gonna uh, see if I wanna try it shorter, probably in, in another video or another time or something like that. This is another water hose, uh, I mean water head thing for the, uh, the sponge filter. All right, let's set this to the side. Let's put this thing together. Okay. Hmm. Let's start with. Yeah, we're gonna start with this. Let's put the uh we're gonna put the head on first that we're using to clean the turtle's tank with, and then we're gonna start putting this on the tubes. Alright, that's tight. Then we're gonna put the other tube on. It's it's real simple and easy to hook this thing up, man. Just make sure you check the menu out if you're having a hard time. I'm used to using products like this, so I basically know how to put a lot of them together without even messing with the uh, menu. I'm used to using stuff like this to clean my tanks out, because I'm big on cleaning tank, my tanks. I like to have uh, clear water. So let's put this thing, I'm gonna wait to put that together. Let's put this together real quick. All right, put that through there like that. This right here go right here. Put that in first. You push that in right there inside the filter. Then you screw this down. You get on the right. And then from there you put this on here. Make sure you push it in good. And all right, we gotta put the clip, these clips on. It's gonna hold the cord. So it won't be all in the way. Just like that. Let's undo this. All right. I'll put the other clip on up here somewhere. Then push that in there. This is the clip to hold the cord so the cord can be out your way and not in the way. Or in the way. But this is basically how you hook this thing up, just like this. And uh, the holes go right here. I'm about to put the holes on in a second too, but let y'all see how I look. All right, let's put the uh, holes on, just to let y'all get a uh, look on how it go. So you get you a five gallon bucket or something, or if you're close enough to your sink or something like that, but I don't know where y'all tank might be, but let me move the heads over here. So we got one, two, three heads all together. Uh, you put this on there like this, and the uh, filter, put it 
push it in like that. And then you put this part in your sink or in a bucket or wherever the heck you drain it, the water out to when you suck in it, vac vacuum cream in the sand. This is a sand head or the rocks or whatever. I would say you use this head for the rocks. And it's another head too, I thought I took it out. This is another head I would say is used for like rocks and stuff like that. So these two, I would say rocks. And this one right here is a sand wash head. And this is a sand vamp head right here. So that's how you use this thing. All right, let's uh, take this thing to the tank and uh, we go clean the tank out and see how good of a job it do. I'll see you at the tank. All right, y'all, this is the tank that I was gonna do the uh, gravel cleaning on, but the water level is too freaking low. Cause I ain't been tending to that tank in the last couple of days and the water level was way too low. So this is what I wanted to get up, but it ain't gonna work if the water too level too low. The water level gotta be like at least like right here, but the water is up a little bit. So you go to continue to uh, review um, my piranhas tank. The water level is where it's supposed to be. But I'm gonna uh, set y'all up on the tripod and we go start sucking the water out they tank. They need to clean it too anyway, so that's what we go do. All right, y'all, let's start with a tank. Click uh, on on this button right uh, on the cord. There's a button. Click on. All right, there you go. I'm bring up my poster so I can see what's going on. Y'all can see it's sucking up the uh, little particles at the bottom of the tank. Then it's sucking the water into this five gallon bucket right here. This pump is it's strong. It's sucking up more than I expected it to suck up. Uh, I just did a uh, big feeding with these dudes. Uh, it's a lot of uh, uneaten food in the rocks, so it's sucking it up. I'm gonna suck it up into the uh, five gallon bucket, get full, and then I'm gonna let y'all see what's inside the bucket. And I'm just moving around everywhere. I'm not gonna be able to hit the whole tank at once because I only got the five gallon bucket, so you'll get what we can get. If I have to clean the whole tank, I'll probably have to uh, clean it a couple times. So I only got a five gallon bucket. All right, you gonna stop it right there. Cause the five gallon bucket is almost full. Alright, let's take off the tripod. 
Uh, the five gallon bucket is full. Uh, y'all can see like at the bottom, if y'all can see like down there, it's like a shuttle kind of, but you can see, y'all can see like a lot of dirt that we took up the tank down there at the bottom of the uh, five gallon bucket. And y'all can look inside the filter. Uh, it's a lot of like fish, uneaten fish food and fish species and all kind of parts of all the crazy stuff at, that was at the bottom of the tank. So this thing definitely worked. I like it. Uh, it wasn't for this tank. I didn't buy it for this tank. I really bought it for the turtles tank, but the turtles were level is too low. Like I gotta pick way more. I gotta put at least like three, four more water, uh, inches of water in there. I didn't realize that it, the level of the water went down, but. You know what I'm saying? It's cool work for the uh, Piranha's tank too. Y'all can see that they're at the bottom of the tank. I mean, the bottom of the bucket, but I like it. It's cool. I just got to make sure I fix this freaking tank, man. They water level was too freaking low, and that's the tank I really wanted to clean. But this tank needed to clean anyways too. But hopefully y'all like the review. Peace out. It's your boy Piranha here. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Peace.